All right, CAD fans, let's get started. If you don't have a blank drawing to work with, you can also always use the application menu and new and pick the ACAD template, that's the standard one. If you don't want to use a template, you can use no template imperial or metric down here next to the open button, but we'll use the ACAD template. We'll left click open. It says this is an educational product, but that's fine. We know that. Hit continue. And then let's go to the line tool to get started. Notice if I hold the mouse over it for a short period of time, it'll give me some description of what that tool will do. That's kind of handy. Let's left click the line tool, and then left click where we're going to start the line, left click where we finish the line, and I can just keep left clicking around whatever shape I want to create. Left click again. Notice that the tool will just keep going and going until I hit the enter key on the keyboard. Now on the old school software, or not that old I guess, actually using a mouse, if we did the line tool and left clicked and you right clicked at the end of a line, it would do the enter key for you, but uh, in this case the newer stuff doesn't. You can go into the settings and mess with that if you like that. Um, we'll just left click enter if you're doing it in that manner. So if in fact you wanted to change that, you can go into the options and then I think it's under user preferences, right click customization, you can change how the right click uh, functions. Make, turn it into the enter button just like uh, older CAD software used to. There's a time sensitive one too. We won't try it for now, uh, but that's where you change that if you'd like to. I'll cancel out of that. So about mouse buttons, I think you're really going to need a regular three button mouse, uh, like the two left, right, and a, and a scrolly wheel. Uh, just the laptop buttons are going to be difficult. You might be able to get them to work and figure it out, but uh, that's just a, a forewarning. Um, as we've already said, the left button is the is the normal left click button, you know that that picks spots. Like I can left click around and draw something just like I'm doing here. Enter to get out of that. If uh, the right click, you can right click out in space. I can repeat a line. So if I haven't selected an object, it gives you context sensitive help. It's sort of generic. If I want to get out of this, I can hit the escape button. If I right click on a specific object, in this case it's giving me pretty much the same things, but sometimes it's different depending on what you've selected. Uh, you can also use the mouse button. I just bumped it, the scrolling button in the middle. If you roll it in and out, it'll zoom for you, which is kind of nice when you're moving around. If you hold the scrolling middle mouse button down and then move, it pans it around for you. And then once you've scrolled around enough to kind of make a mess, if you want to get back to where you were, you can type zoom. Notice I just started with a Z and it has it there on the screen. It also puts it in the lower part of the window. I hit enter then. I look down here and it gives me a clue as to what it wants from me as far as the uh, the software and uh, I will just type extents or EX and it zooms to the extents of what I've drawn. So now you've seen that we can do mouse stuff, we can do command stuff down in this lower left hand window and you can also do ribbon menu things if you need more tools than are shown in there, you just hit the little drop down. If you hit the escape key there, there's a funny little button here that changes the behavior of, of uh, the menus and stuff. And If you just keep clicking it, it sh turns things on and off and changes the interface. So if you're, you open AutoCAD and it doesn't look like what you expect, if you find that little button, that can help too. 
And there's even uh, another menu bar if you're used to the older version of the software. If you type in the command line menu bar and then one, the old style file edit view insert menus will come up. And that's a good example of how to use the command line. If I type menu bar again and type zero, that turns it off. So this is a binary on off thing. Ah, oh, check this out. The world's largest bulldozer, the Komatsu D575A-3 Super Dozer. 1,150 horsepower, weighs 336,420 pounds, has a blade capacity of 90 cubic yards. Sweet! So you've probably noticed that the software is working in this XY coordinate scheme, right? If you look in the lower left part the drawing coordinates. See when I move the mouse around I've got the line tool on. It's giving me the same numbers right next to the cursor as it does in the lower left. If your mouse for some reason doesn't have that, see how that doesn't now? The tooltips pop off the screen but this is what's called dynamic input. Click that button and they come back on. Dynamic input is just a helper thing that makes it easier. Um, but if you don't see it the same way, that's where you want to look. Uh, these little things down below are all kinds of helpful features. Uh, let's see. So back to the XY thing. This is Cartesian space, right? So you have the Y direction and the X direction. I'm sure as engineers you can figure all that out. Um, and they usually have these red and green lines on that sort of help you with that. And spaces is divided up obviously into units. Um, they can be absolute coordinates or relative coordinates. Well, the way we've been drawing with the line tool, notice that when I first clicked it was at zero. When I move away it goes a certain distance so if I want to type in right here if I want to go 30 units across I can type on the keyboard 30 units hit the tab key to the angle, and I'll just use it as zero, hit enter, and it draws the line for me. And if I wanted to go square down another 20 units, tab key 90 degrees in this case, and hit enter, I can do that. Now I'm off the screen. I think I'll hit the roll the mouse back a little bit, and then and it back up so I can still see it. Maybe we want to go back all the way across to 30 units again. Tab at 180, enter. And then back. I can also hit the C for close. If you're following the prompts in the lower left hand part of the screen, if you type C, L O S E, or just type C, it'll close that into a box for me. By default, the dynamic input uses relative coordinates. If I want to use absolute coordinates, because there's a point that's zero, 0, on the screen here, I hit the line tool, and I have to type the pound symbol for absolute coordinates. So pound, 0, tab, 0, and then hit enter. It goes to the 0, 0, which is right at the x, y, as you'd expect it. And then from there I can go 50. And if I don't want to do this angle and distance, we can do 50 comma, and it'll do it in x, y, say 20. Hit enter. So that's 50 units in the x direction and 20 units in the y direction. So if I go back down, I go back down 20 units, that would be 0, comma, minus 20, right? Enter. So that shows that it's 20 there, 
And if I wanted to go back to where I started from, that would be minus 50, comma, 0, and hit enter. And I drew that triangle. And then I can get out of that by right clicking and hitting cancel. Good so far. So I'm getting a fair mess going on the screen here now. What if you happen to hit this little thing up here? That can change how you're looking at the drawing, which would make more sense if it was in 3D. Um, but you can just, by left clicking around these different arrows, you can get it back around to where you want it to be. We might think about erasing some of it, huh? So let's go up and find the erase tool. Notice it gives you a little help there if you hold the mouse. I'll left click the erase tool and, and notice in the lower left part of the screen it's saying select object. So I'm following my prompts. Let's delete that. I found that. We'll take that out. We'll just take some of this out. So it's found four total now. You can see at the bottom of the screen. And then to get it to execute, I hit the enter button. And there it goes. Uh, you can also do it the other way around. You can click on object. Say I don't want that object. Let's say the escape button. Let's say we want to just pick off this. So I'm left clicking around. I think I just hit the wrong one. Oops, hit the escape key. Let's just click around and take that out. And then choose the erase button. And it deletes them that way too. So you can do it either way. Many of these things are like that. You've got command line options, you've got menu options, you've got select options. Um, there is, there's always more than one way of, of doing everything. Uh, you can also do undo and redo. So let's say I didn't want to do that. I can do undo. And in fact, it will go undo all the way back to when we open the drawing. And redo does the same kinds of things. Okay. So speaking of saving, it's a good idea to save pretty regularly and also to do your own little backup to a save as and maybe uh, we'll call it CA 101-1. And what I can also do is in this list over on the left, this is where I usually save things in my CAD folder. I can add current folder to places and then it shows up right here, which is handy. Let's hit save and we've saved it. It does actually auto save. Uh, if you look here on the options under the open and save options, it automatically saves every 10 minutes by default. If you don't like that, of course, you can change it right there. And then uh, I guess that's about it for, for that. Let's look at the polyline one last thing. If I left click and left click again, it selects everything. And I'll hit the erase to give me some clear space here. Let's look at the polyline tool. And I'll just start drawing some random stuff here. It also, beyond just lines, if you right click, you can do a bunch of other types of drawing, particularly arcs. So if you wanted to draw an arc here, and then if I right click again and go back to line mode, I can go straight again. Zoom out a little bit. Hold with the middle mouse button and drag so I can see. And we can do pretty much whatever. Let's go back to arc mode. End point of arc, it says. Oh, let's have it arc way over like that. So there's my funny looking object. Hit enter to finish. I can zoom extents. Zoom right into where I want it to be. And that's probably good for now.